On Monday night at Lambeau Field, we saw another thrashing by the Green Bay Packers, a 45-7 win over the Minnesota Vikings, and Arthur Aaron Rodgers just continues to impress. I guess it's old news at this point. Each week, he seems to be setting new records, new stats that we haven't seen before. You just can't stop him right now. He's really starting to run out of superlatives for Aaron Rodgers at this point. He had four more touchdowns tonight. He had the short variety, the long variety. Found John Kuhn on a screen pass. Found Greg Jennings on a slant. Improvised. Found uh, Jordy Nelson in the back of the end zone. He's doing it all. It seemed like he was toying with the Vikings defense. Too. Yeah, I mean, he, it was nine straight games now with two plus touchdowns, over 110 rating every game, it seems like. You just can't seem to slow him down. On the flip side, the Vikings, they were down 17 nothing at the half, but the truth was, I thought they played pretty well. I mean, the, they had the punt return for a touchdown. Down. At times, Christian Ponder played well, looked like he showed some poise. They just were overmatched today. Couldn't agree more. There's no question they were able to get pressure on Rodgers in the first half. Jared Allen was all over the field. Uh, it seemed like they were in it. Like you said, the punt return from uh, Cobb kind of took the air out of things temporarily, but Christian Ponder made some throws, most impressively a third and long where he stepped up in the pocket under duress, yeah. completed it down to Vicente Shanko downfield, made some throws in the end, as you said, totally overmatched. Yeah, the flea flicker that was picked off, it seemed like it kind of completely lost any hope for the Vikings at that point. And then when Rodgers gets going, you just can't stop him. So that's all from Lambeau Field. Another pass Packer win. Surprise, surprise. Let the undefeated talk begin if it hasn't already. 9-0 and counting. That's all from here. For the best coverage of the NFL, check us out at ProFootballWeekly.com.